see that that inside knuckle and inside knuckle are not lined up. Neither is the outside knuckle and the outside knuckle. Slip it apart, put it back together. Some have a square, some have a hex, some have a funny one piece line. Just get it so that the outside and outside, the inside and inside are all lined up. And it'll look just fine. So, very important area, very easy thing to fix. Sometimes it's one of the things that just kind of can't see the forest for the trees, you know what I mean? And uh, it's right there in the and that's uh, fine. How about checking the OD and the pads for wear? How often do we do that, guys? What's your, what is your, uh, what is your uh, method of madness out there for the frequency of doing that? Annually, Bill says, which is good. Have a PM program. Should you really need to worry about it any more than annually? You know, if we keep everything in line like we're going to talk about here in a minute, we'll make sure that we, uh, let's set these over here. Making sure that we keep our components right and everything. I mean, our OD of our shaft shouldn't have to change, you know, between one step and the next. Why is it important that we want to keep the OD of the shaft in line? What's the reason for this? Why do I want that OD like nice and tight? Most of us change our tuning over by doing what? Sliding it on and off. So if I've got an undersized shaft, how's my tuning going to fit? And if I put my spacers on here, tuning, spacers, put my outboard stand on here, lock it down, and I got this condition, how's that roll going to ride? It's going to lope, isn't it? So what's the lightest gauge we run in the audience here? What's the best mode lightest? 30? Anybody less than 30 thousandths? Okay, 30. What's our, what's, our, uh, what's our largest? Belmont up there in Big Mill, what do we, we run? 280? 275, you know, right around there. So if we're running a real light wall through here, and we have this condition, undersized shaft, or maybe an oversized board too, right guys? I lock it all down by tightening my outside fasteners on there. How's that roll going right? So if I don't have to work it very hard, because the material's kind of kind of thin, like a siding section, what are you gonna have? Right. Supervisor comes up and says, How's your size? So what would you like to have? <laughs> right on. <laughs> Oversized or undersized? I got it all within, you know, whatever, three foot section here, see? Because it's sitting there, it's doing one of these numbers. Now let's go with the thick material. I got thick material in here. Now what do we have to do? Gotta come down a lot harder. Because I'm forming that heavier material. Where am I going to want to, where am I going to be now? That gap's going to be on top instead of on the bottom. And of course, it's going to want to try and maintain that all the time. So what's it going to sit there and do? Just constantly chatter. It's kind of like putting your wheel on the car, leaving the lug, nut, lug nuts loose. The way the car is going to go to the bottom of the hull, it's just going to cause disaster after a while. So when I got that movement going on, what other kind of price do we pay besides the OD of the shaft, <clears throat> wearing it more, the ID of the board? We have like space wearer, don't we? Spacers are usually soft material, right? Why are they soft? Why is the spacer soft? They, they wear faster than the, you know, than the D2, hardened D2 roll, but you know what guys? Steel on steel, they're both going to pay the price. And you're going to have some face wear on here. I mean, you'll get some naturally, but when you've got something that's really indentated, you know, and it's been running a long time, we haven't even talked about alignment yet, it's going to be a problem. And then, of course, if your spacer is mushroomed out, instead of being one inch long, it may be 20 or 30 thou, undersized, whatever the case may be. So, very important now, where is that wear going to take place? Center or wherever, wherever your tooling is going to be having the pressure point at, obviously. 